Bienvenido una vez más. Welcome back again. Here we are in Ola Palm Beach, and we're very excited. We have Linda Bear and her family members. Thank you very much. We've been talking so much. Uh, estamos hablando sobre la familia, pero vamos a, a despegar. Let's, let's take off from the family for just a minute, okay. because you've had a couple of very exciting exhibitions that have yes. opened recently. Yes. Um, han habido presentaciones en museos, en galerías, en... He participado, estoy participando en este momento en tres exhibiciones uh -huh. uh, y estoy muy satisfecha como sea, como me está, me está yendo y los proyectos que estoy haciendo y ah. sobre todo la interacción que tengo con la comunidad. Para mí, mi propuesta en este momento es acerca del cuerpo de la mujer uh -huh. y de las expectativas que la sociedad uh, nos pone eh, de acuerdo a belleza, a actitud, a comportamiento humano, okay. y mi trabajo se basa en esa propuesta. Okay, so you did have an exhibition called Chromatic. Chromatic. Yes. Um, tell me a little bit about Chromatic. Okay, Chromatic is a project that mm -hmm. born with the idea of how the attitude or the pose that we had every day in our life mm -hmm. make us have a completely different perspective of who we are or how we behave in the, our society. Mm -hmm. That means that this kind of image also I want to involve community. Conce I think so that the contemporary are sometimes yeah. a little bit abstract right now for the people that doesn't know anything about contemporary art. And for me the way that bring it closer to my audience or my public mm -hmm. was involve them in the project. Okay. The way that, uh, lo que yo traté es de hacer una imagen mm -hmm. en la cual está basada en la coloring book en y de, en de, el, de imágenes de, de colo colorear. colorear en el cual mi mujer está presentada en primer plano mm -hmm. en una pose confiada y segura con diferentes tipos de cuerpo y en la parte, en el background de la mm -hmm. imagen está una imagen de, que se puede colorear basada en imágenes de Art Nouveau que se podría decir que con era una estética femenina, femenina. Okay. sí podríamos decir algo más cool que es masculino pero, o femenino pero lo, lo, los imágenes es tuyo la, los imágenes, cuerpos no son femeninos los cuerpos son, son humanos son humanos exactamente son, sí. sus proporciones son varían el, el, y el género sí sí tiene que ver porque tienen casi todos tienen seno todos pero tienen cuando seno, tienen, tienen seno. y a veces están de, de espalda entonces no se sabe no, no nunca ni están de espaldas pueden estar tres cuartos de cuerpo, cuerpo. Ah, okay. Pero ellas se ve que son mujeres. Constantemente ah. la presencia de sus senos o de su cintura uh -huh. son presentes en la imagen. Es decir, que sí uh -huh. son mujeres. ¿Cómo, de, ¿Cómo tú desarrollaste? How did you develop the iconic figure that you use? Porque esa figura es tuya. Tú la creaste. Sí. Es como colocaste verdad, varias cosas. You, you picked and choose elements of what your real woman Exacto. Um, is. Siendo Venezolan, she exactly. measured a lot of people. She measured me and all my friends, uh -huh. our waist, our, our hips, okay. our legs. So you're, you're kind of somewhat of a muse, you think? I think it's just a corporate, like of everyone. Like she would uh -huh. look up Victoria's Secret models. Okay. What's their measurements? What's Beyonce's measurement? Beyonce does not have a Victoria's Secret. Exactly. So it's typical two Victoria's things. Secret. But that's, yeah. I think, how it really started. Exactly. With you. Y sobre todo empezó cuando yo eh, hice una investigación acerca de cuál fue la primera vez que se estandarizó a la mujer, porque uno tiene una imagen de la mujer. Well, ten. Exactamente. Drop ten, ten. Exacto. Uh, which y, is exactly. the hourglass. Uh -huh. yeah. No, but the hourglass. The hourglass. Like if it's thirty-five, it's twenty-five. It's thirty-five. If you yeah. know, if it's twenty-five, it's fifteen. So yeah, you're yeah, supposed exactly. to have ten, ten. Entonces, la primera, yeah. la primera vez que se estandarizó la mujer uh -huh. en medidas físicas fue uh, después de la revolución industrial. Eh, generalmente se tuvieron que hacer eh, tallas para uh -huh. poder hacer ropa y entonces es, eh, se hizo un estudio para estandarizar el cuerpo uh -huh. pero cuando se hizo ese estudio en 1940 sí, sí, cometieron muchos errores se midieron mujeres jóvenes que vivían en la ciudad entonces cuando yo leí ese estudio que se hizo yo dije uh -huh. wow seguimos cometiendo los mismos no estudios errores. entonces yo voy a tratar de que esta mujer tenga otras proporciones y que sea una mujer que pueda ser más llenita que pueda ser más delgada. ¿Tú crees que eso tiene que ver como resultado de tus raíces latinas? Definitivamente. Definitivamente. Okay. Definitivamente. Okay. Nosotras las venezolanas no. somos súper coquetas sí. y tenemos mucha presión para ser muy bellas. <risa> um, porque eh, 
los estereotipos y la clasificación eh, yo sé que yo por lo menos no nunca te he clasificado como artista mujer I've oh. never I've never classified That's you so as, nice. a, as a female as artist. artist as a female artist yeah. let alone a Latina artist mm -hmm. although those are identifications that a lot of people um, wear and they're trying to actualize yeah. um, and there's nothing right wrong good or bad about it yes but sure. you yourself have attached a label that's feminist although you you're more than anything embracing artist exactly an aesthetic conversation not from a, not from a women's point of view but from a cultural anthropological behavior, exactly. behavior. Yeah. exactly I mm -hmm. think so that this sounds beautiful because that right. was completely my purpose my purpose is to define an empowering woman in a completely um, open environment it's not just as a woman it's just as a human beings that we need to have to break those standards and does she bring that home does she bring that, that oh, philosophy home please oh, for sure yeah <laughs> we it? definitely that was definitely installed in our heads as like young it's not who it's who you are not what you look like that okay. identifies you the, was there any influence in um, your presentation when uh, mom dressed you as when you dressed yourself yeah I think I was always un poco más coqueta uh -huh, and my mom was always like a little bit more simple reserved reserved and I think when I started dressing myself it was always pink and she's like I didn't teach you to wear pink every day <laughs> and pink's just my favorite color I love pink okay so but you know that traditionally pinks and reds yes, are, are male colors are male colors are male yeah, colors yeah. Uh, and only in this country did we change that that pink was the female blue female, was yes. yeah. um, and but blue, blues and greens were associated with women yeah. Yeah. yes Absolutely. Historically, yeah. But I, I allow her more or less to dress yeah, in the way that she wants. Yes. Um, but, uh, y entonces, por ahí nació la idea del trabajo. Okay. Y el trabajo ha evolucionado no solamente en el cuerpo, como, uh, sino en la pose. The posing. The posing. That's interesting. Exactamente. Eh, yo trabajo con un, para crear a mis mujeres, trabajo mm -hmm. con un software, que es un software de video games. Mm -hmm. Y en el software hay poses de mujer y poses de hombre. Y fue algo que me dije, ¿cómo puede ser posible? You know, our poses can be, cannot be feminine or masculine. What is it? What is it the pose? That's a big man. That's a big man. man pose. Yeah. Superman. Exactly. Strong a superman. Superman. A superman fan. Y este aquí así. Oh, my God. La, la, la pose de la mujer, ¿no? Exactly. Everything. Que con el cuerpo, uh, the yes. counterpostal. Counterpostal. Most women are always counterpostal yes. and the men are always... Yes. So, but this is an attitude. Mm -hmm. It's not just a pose. And is there anything wrong? Hay, hay algo malo con que there una mujer no. se pare de no. lado así porque es cultural, ¿no? Y, y, and I don't try to criticize okay. any other way. You know, we can. You know, for me as a feminist, the idea is that we have the right to choose whatever choose. we want. Okay. It's not that a male pose is better than a female pose mm -hmm. or a male. But the thing is, like, to break standards. There mm -hmm. is not female or male poses. It's just the way that you feel. Y estamos comfortable. hablando de estar de pie. We're talking Exacto. about standing up poses. Stand How sitting. about sitting down? The same way. Same way. Yes. The same way. Usually, for female poses, you don't open your arms. Uh, that means that. Entonces, vamos a regresar. We'll be right back after commercials, and we'll see how we're sitting. <laughs>